Well, today you may hear tornado sirens sounding as part of a tornado drill. It is just a drill. Mm -hmm. It is an important drill, though. It's part of Severe Weather Awareness Week. Yeah, all across the state today at 1.45 p.m. and then again at 6.45, the tornado sirens will be going off. So this afternoon and then this evening, Hennepin County Sheriff Rich Stanick joins me now live from Plymouth. Good morning, Sheriff. Hey, happy Thursday, guys. Happy Thursday. Okay, what do you want people to do when they hear the sirens? Because this is a little bit different from the first Wednesday of every month. Sure. Well, today at 1.45 and 6.45 p.m., we're going to be activating the sirens across Hennepin County and across the metro area. We want folks to uh, take shelter and then, uh, uh, you know, practice their emergency plans with their family, maybe at their school, business, whatever it might be. So what is the, the importance of having the two different drills you know, you, you might think, okay, one would be enough, but you really want to focus in on two different times of the day, it sounds like. Right, so the 1.45 p.m. one is, uh, you know, tentatively scheduled for schools and businesses to practice their tornado drills or what they might do when severe weather hits the metro area. The 6.45 p.m. one, we're hoping uh, families that are home, maybe having dinner, engaging in evening activities, or those who work a later shift might be able to practice and exercise it as well. We talk a lot about these emergency plans for families, for neighborhoods, for communities and schools. If you're a family and you want to sit down tonight and kind of go over one, you know, with your kids, with your parents, what does a plan look like? What should people be talking about? Well, number one, when you hear the sirens, that's the time to uh, take shelter. You shouldn't uh, go turn on the TV or the radio because severe weather is already in your area. So seek shelter, number one. Number two, then get further information about what that weather awareness looks like. Third, you should be able to talk with your family members and uh, friends uh, or employees about what you might be able to do during the severe weather emergency, where to go, uh, where to rally around, and then how to get back out of it. What are some things that people can do, not necessarily at the drill today, but when you're sitting down and you're having this drill with your family, say, okay, what else can we do to be more prepared all the time? I know weather radio is one of the most important things that you can have in your house. Well, we generally tell people, look, uh, a weather radio, number one. Number two, uh, a rally point within that business or somewhere outside of the home if you're out uh, shopping at a local store or maybe a school event. Three, uh, you know, talk about uh, emergency uh, preparations. Might be uh, the flashlight, maybe a couple of days worth of food and water. Something that you can sustain yourself over, uh, over a couple of days should that weather be really severe. You lose electricity, you lose power. Now, this is the metro area. Things happen. But it's not so much uh, the action, but rather the reaction by families and others. Absolutely. Well, very important this week to have those talks with your family. Sheriff Stanick, thank you for joining us. And I know that when I was growing up, we did have a tornado shelter in all of our houses when we lived in the Midwest. And we had all of those different things down there. A little, I remember a tiny little TV. We had sure. the weather radio. I think there were games for us to play as kids. So it's really, really important to take this time because we already saw tornadoes, the earliest tornado ever on record in, in Minnesota this year in March. So, yeah. you know, you think this is, oh, a great time to do it. We've already had severe weather. Yeah, from years of covering mm -hmm. it, one of the things that people who have been through tornadoes mm -hmm. have told me that they wish they had in the basement, in the rallying uh, gathering yeah. point, is shoes. Because if you think about it, a oh, lot of yeah. times a tornado will the happen house. in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. You might be in bed. Just run and downstairs. And so you run downstairs right. and you don't have shoes, and then the tornado happens. And a lot of the injuries from tornadoes actually are, are debris related. Mm -hmm. So either you get hit by debris or you end up stepping tripping or stepping or whatever. So just something Very to think important. about as you talk this over with your family mm -hmm. uh, this week as yeah. we, we uh, pay attention to severe weather awareness. And 145 and 645. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We'll remind you on Twitter. People yeah. will freak out, I'm yes. sure. They what will. happens. What's yeah. happening? Yeah, absolutely. But